That's it. Huh? That's right. We preach Jesus to him crucified. Oh, yes. Glory to God. For I know this. I know this after I was departing. Our grievous wolves. Grievous. Grievous wolves. Amen. Amen. I don't care how much you love one of the ministers. You better listen. That's right. And when he detoured from the Bible, That's question right. him. That's right. And I don't care who he is. Question him. Amen. Do you hear this? For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you. And what else? Not sparing the flock. They won't even spare you. Also of your own selves. Which shows they're incompetent. Yeah. Of your own selves. Shall men arise. Speaking perverse they, things. Those the kind of men are men stealers. That's right. They, they're not called and sent of God. They don't have what it takes to go out there to declare God's word and souls come. Amen. So they just try to form cliques. That's it. Right in the church That's and right. befriend people. That's right. That's right. May let you borrow X amount of money. Yeah. And you feel loyal. Yeah. You try to buy you like a pimp do a two dollar hoe. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And those kind you can tell they can be out there 10, 15, 20, 25 years. And they got the same thing that they have now that they have when they went out on their own. That's right. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Also of your it own. It takes God to make a preacher. Amen. 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 If there's something you could just jump up and do because you got the feeling like you James Brown. No, you can't. God got to make you. Right, that's right. That's right. If God don't do it, it can't be done. No. When God do it, God put it in him. That's right. The desire who will take God to do it right. That's right. Do you hear this? Also of your own self shall men arise. Remember, it get them that come from the outside and it get them that's right among you. Of your own self. Shall men arise. Of, a, of your own self your shall own self. men arise speaking perverse, perverse things. Thing. To draw away disciples. To, to get members. After them. After them, yes. therefore. Watch. No. Be blinded by friendship. Therefore, watch. No, just speak in tongue all around them. Therefore, watch. That's right. I don't care if you're reading for the minister. That's right. You ain't got no business getting so close to a minister until when he deviates from the word of God or even start behind closed doors speaking against leadership, you yeah. in his amen corner. That's right. You just as held bound as the minister. Amen. Therefore, what? What? Therefore, what? I don't have no respect to person. No, you don't. No, you don't. My blood brother's under me. I don't care. That's right. When they come to God, I don't care who you are. Amen. Amen. I remember when I sent my blood brother to a location and the Rocky Mount Church closed the doors to go where he was. And then when I sent one of the ministers down there to a location, they didn't close the doors. I asked Rocky Mount, who was my brother? Mm. If you're going to close the doors for one, then close it for the other. And if you can't do it for both, you're a hypocrite. That's right. That's right. So in the, in the past, some try to present my brother like he was my assistant pastor. He ain't my assistant pastor, nothing. No. no. He's just one of the helpers like all the other ministers. That's right. And I don't think of him above another minister because he's my blood. See, with me, spirit outweighs blood. That's right. I don't care nothing about blood. Amen. Blood don't follow the word of God. Blood going to go to hell. That's right. Only God can make it like that. Yeah. Because it is the nature of a false prophet to look at blood. Yeah. That's why false prophets always train their sons. That's right. They keep the family name on the church sign and the family legacy on. Yeah. That's right. I'm interested in keeping the name of the Lord on the church sign and the word of God on. That's right. Amen. Therefore, watch. Do what? Therefore, what? Problem of a lot of folks, the reason why they can't watch, they're jumping and jerking and shouting too much. Yeah. That's right. Can't watch. That's right. That's right. Therefore. Therefore, watch. And, and while we're watching, what should we do? And remember. Right back at remembering again. That's right. Therefore, watch and remember. That by the space of three years, 
I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. He warned them how long? By the space of three years. And how was he affected by it? I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. Night and day. Night and day. With tears. They troubled him so bad the apostle was telling them and crying. That's right. Why? He saw the church, many being moved, lost, damned. That's right. Because they didn't keep in memory what was preached. That's right. That's right. False prophet come along, no more apostles now. And here's the Bible speak plain. God has set some, he hath. And the, the spirit of deception say, hath mean past. Hath don't mean past. No. Hath mean he established it in the church. That's right. That's it. God hath. They say that mean past. That don't mean past. No. God hath means God established these things in the church. church. He hath done it. They established in there. That's right. How hell deserving. My Lord, my Lord. You don't believe in tithing? Why you take them? Well, that's something. You don't believe in tithing? Why they take them? Amen. I went to Mississippi and fed. Preacher told me later on, we, we went down there and preached, and we left all the money there. Mm -hmm. All the tithing and offering. And he, and he cried, thanking me. He said, I can take this. And I, I, he said, I'm doing work on the church. I said, you take it and do whatever work you're going to do. I said, you can put your new carpet down. Then later on told me don't believe in tithing. Then take your carpet up. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Take your carpet back up. Because that's hypocrisy. Amen. You believe in tithing enough to get carpet down. And then later on, I don't believe it. Roll that carpet up, clean the glue off. That's right. Give all the tithing back. Because if you don't believe in it, you should reject it. That's right. That's Am I right, I said? Amen. Therefore, watch. Therefore, what? And re watch and remember. Amen. If you don't get this in you, somebody come in here with a damnable doctrine. Yes, they will. That's why sometimes when guest preachers, if we put them up, and they see the whole congregation is quiet and listening. Some of them get upset. Mm -hmm. I remember on Briar Road, there was a preacher. I think his name was Townsend yeah. from the Tidewater area. Because we always taught the people, listen. That's right. Don't be so quick to yell, amen, amen, listen. And he got up there preaching and whatnot, carrying on. The whole building was quiet. He, he, he wasn't used to that. He got so angry, he started yelling, I feel hatred. He did. I see hatred. <laughs> That's right. Yes, he did. He said hatred, everybody. <laughs> there wasn't nobody hating him. That's right. Everybody was simply quiet, right. listening. listening. Your ear tries words. That's right. As mouth doeth meats. Try it. Glory to God. Therefore, watch. Therefore, watch. This and is the instructions given from the apostles to the church. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years by the space, do you see how dedicated they was? Amen. And the love they had for the church? That by the space how of they three, was warning the church while they lived? That's right. He said by the space of three years I cease not to I warn cease, everyone. That mean in three years he was consistent in warning the church with the same teaching and he was very emotional about it. Everyone night and day with tears. How often? Everyone night and day with tears. Night and day. Why? He saw them slipping away into hell. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Study! Study to show thyself approved unto God. Give chapter and verse again. Back in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. You want God's approval. That's right. That's what I live for. God's approval. I don't look for the approval of people. No. I don't care if I never get their approval. Amen. I want God's approval. That's it. That's it. I'm some folks write me, you the most arrogant thing I've ever seen in my life. I said, all right, I got God's approval. Amen. I hate you. Thank God for you. I still got God's still. approval. That's right. 
I come in last week, I someone sent me a letter so hateful and said, Pastor Jennings, I wish you just die. Die, die, die. So one of the viewers from somewhere, I don't know who they are, they, they, they did it in reverse. They said, Pastor Jennings, why don't you just live? Live, live, live. Thank God for that. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Man wrote me not that long ago. He said, one of the greatest days of my life is when I hear you're dead. He said, the day I hear you're dead, I'll be happy. And, he, and then he put in there, I'll be watching you next week. <laughs> Why are they so upset? Why? Because the whole religious world are like spoiled babies. That's right. You know, a spoiled child cannot take discipline. No. You take a parent that let their child do anything. Run all on the couch with their shoes on. Never wash their hands before they go in the refrigerator. Think they too tender to do chores around the house. That's right. That's right. Can't sweep. Can't mop. Can't move a chair. Can't wipe off a table. Amen. Well, what can he do? Right, that's right. That's right. That's right. What can he do? But then let him go to grandpa and grandpa house, grandma house, yeah. where chores are mandatory. That's right. Clean up, pick up. That's right. Wash them dishes, yeah. mop that floor, sweep that floor. Wash your hands before you go in the refrigerator. Get your feet off that couch. Boy, the grandma and give you a look. You know, old folks say if looks can kill. <laughs> That's right. You jump on grandma's couch. I don't care if you ain't grandma's presence. And your mama there. Your mama gets sitting there. <laughs> grandma come back in, wiping her hands on her apron. What, what that child doing? I just jumping on the couch, mama. With them shoes on? Yeah, that's right. Girl, if you don't get that baby shoes off my couch, I'll be both of you. <laughs> that's right. Why? She still enforced old school discipline and rule. Yeah. Weak, frail, feeble, timid, worthless teaching. Here, O ye children. Have came in judges. Yes. Water down everything. That's true. That's true. Church full of long haired men. Yeah. Practically every man sitting there looking like a sissy. Looking like, that's right. <laughs> Half naked women. Two and three wives all across the pulpit. Yeah. Women look like prostitutes everywhere. Half naked. That's right. Look just like a club. Yeah. Dress in blouse and hat sparkle so much you are thinking been charged up overnight. <laughs> like they're from Hollywood Boulevard. That's true. Even preachers got on suits. Look like glitter all over it. That's right. Hollywood star swinger. That's right. Huh? Hollywood star swinger. <laughs> Don't want to be holy no more. No. Richard, come, false prophet, come along and tell you, don't you worry about having your dresses long no more. And the flesh don't want them long, no way. No way. False prophet just said, that's a cup. If you got a nice shape, how you expect to get a man if you got your whole body covered? Show that stuff Show and flaunt it. That's right. And because the flesh wants to do it, y'all come back to check with a skirt or a dress short as my jacket. Yeah. In fact, it ain't nothing but a jacket. True. That's true. You know, some folk dress it ain't nothing but a jacket. You can put a jacket on and got a split in that and cut down in there. And then come to church. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Preacher's wife, thighs all showing. Preacher's daughter, thighs all showing. And you religious Fools ain't got sense enough to see that's indecent. That's right. That's true. I believe uh, Jeremiah 530. 530 yeah. 
Let me see if that's what I want. Amen. Fifth chapter book of Jeremiah and the 30th verse. Follow me and get me. I want to soak you a little for your salvation. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 5, we're at verse 30. Uh -huh. A wonderful and horrible thing. That's what I want. Amen. God talking. A wonderful and horrible thing. A wonderful Amen. and horrible. horrible thing. Is committed in the land. Took place on earth. The prophets prophesied falsely. The prophets, the messengers all out here. Falsely. They prophesied falsely. There was some fella uh, calling himself critiquing the message that we preach in the gymnasium about how to dress when we had those mannequins demonstrating. Some white fella, I don't know who he was, talking about, well, you see, I came out of church like that. And he commented on when I pulled my wife up and sister belly up and showed what was modest. Right. And he said, you see that? That's the symbol of cultism. Mm. Them two women got on black. I just happened to pull them two up. Them wasn't the only two modest women in the congregation. That's right. That's right. It's wearing black. It's cultism. Yeah, that's yeah. But it show you yeah. how the flesh of women want to be seen in religion. That's right. The religious, any time a religious leader will fight to expose the women's bodies in the church. Amen. That church cannot be of God. It no. just can't. No, no. That's a club with the name Jesus. That's right. When these preachers tell you, it doesn't matter how you look. That's a lie out of hell. You got the look of a hooker and you got the look of a child of God. That's then you right. mean to tell me they're the same? That's right. That's right. Are you that dumb? Amen. What I look like up here preaching with a blood bright red suit. Yeah. Blood bright red Pope shoes. Blood bright red shirt. Amen. Blood, bright red tie. I'm all, I'm the red man. Red man. We bring before you our apostle, Bishop Red. That's right. I'm like a red fox. <laughs> all glowing. That's right. Looking like a regular Gerard Avenue pimp. That's right. And you got men 79 years old. Hair dyed black, and you can see the gray roots in it. <laughs> Amen. Got their mustache all dark like they Groucho March. That's right. Got their eyebrows all color. Face the fact, you's an old fool. No. Amen. You claim you a bishop, an overseer, an elder. My Lord, my Why are you listening to the old troublemaker? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed. A wonderful and horrible thing. And horrible thing. Is committed in the land. Committed in the land. The prophets, the prophets prophesied falsely. They prophesied falsely like the evangelicals. Mm -hmm. They still write me. You said Trump ain't got a second time. We believe he gonna win in 2014. I don't care if he do in 2014. I'm dealing with now. Now. Your lie still holds now. That's right. He can do whatever he wants in 2014. What do I care? He can float a boat for all I care. That prophecy that you made the past, you're all hypocrites and lied on God, and you still got to repent for it. That's right. Uh -huh. The prophets prophesied falsely. And what? And the priests. And the preachers. They are in the means. pulpit. How do they get in the pulpit? By their means. And how do the people look at it? And my people love to have it so. <laughs> Amen. Love it. That's right. That's right. Church people having a wedding mm -hmm. and at the reception, everybody dancing. Amen. Church people. Everybody gets dancing. Huh? If they can't dance, they stand in one spot. I don't know what that is. But Church people. That's right. Bishop Slow Dragon Bishop. with his wife when they give him a birthday anniversary. That's right. Church people. That's right. What in the world have you become? Yeah. You're just like Israel. When Moses was on a mountain, the Bible speaks plain how they rose up to play. That's why you get upset with me because I won't play house. That's right. 
You're going to die one day. They're dying. Oh, yeah. The virus is still out. Yeah, they're dying. That's right. One of the boxers just died that I came up watching. Marvelous Marvin Hagler, dead. Died at 66. Dead. No God, but dead. That's something. Nobody's celebrity status keeps you here. That's right. Your money don't put you in a position to stay here. No. The prophecy prepare to meet thy God. That's right. If you die today, viewer, are you ready to meet God? I don't care if your reverend said, I seen brother Johnny James going to heaven. No, he ain't. He ain't seen nothing. No. He's a liar. That's right. Johnny James didn't live to please God. Johnny James is going to hell with the devil. That's right. Mr. Johnny James. Amen. The Holy Ghost said. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. And what? The prophets prophesied falsely. The prophets prophesied falsely. And the falsely. Falsely. How many of you watching? Your preacher came to you in some tongue who already married. Mm. The Lord spoke to me. You and my wife. Har, har, har. He almost purring it out. Har. That's right. There ain't even no tongue behind it. Just purr it. You're my wife. The Lord says you're my wife. And you sit there like a fool with a detached fake eyelash. <laughs> he got a hypocrite spirit and you got one. He's har And you up there. <laughs> and har. That's right. Sound like a 1960 doo-wop group. Amen. Many of you watching, you bear witness, because yeah. some of you looking, you don't got your proposal from some false prophet who's already married. That's right. And you fell for it. Yeah. That's right. Any of you watching me now, and you got married to your pastor, you got married to any preacher, and his first wife is living, yes, you ain't nothing but living in fornication. He's living in adultery. In adultery. I don't care if you're related to Pastor Jennings. That's right. I got some relatives. Fell for it. Mm. Niece fell for a false prophet who already got a wife. Married him. You're going to hell for that. That's right. You're living in fornication. That's right. You know I don't care who you are. No. Well, Pastor Jen Uncle Gino ain't going to speak to you again. What do I care? <laughs> I'm trying to get you to meet God. That's right. I don't care if you never speak to me. That's right. If you don't speak to me, I got plenty of nieces and sisters, sisters that will. You got to do this thing right or be ushered in hell. That's right. The holy book said. The prophets prophesied falsely. Villains, stop letting these liars come to you in a fake tongue, taking your money. Yeah. Robbing you. Going off with some tongue. Shook the look, shook look, shook the look, shook the coast loss. The Lord said that he wants $10,000 in the house. Yeah. Oh, oh, here we come again. Here we come again. Because I can't remember the coast law. That's the right. Lord said he wants $10,000 in the house. In the Wait a minute. What did you say, Lord? Wait a minute. Not 10? 50,000? Coast law. Falsely. Prophets prophesy falsely. The prophets do what? Prophesy falsely. Amen. Like the woman that came here from Ohio, oh. who was conned by a false prophet I came up with, Ted Freeman, mm. who got his second wife. Mm. And tomorrow he's an apostle <laughs> and took money from people. Said he gonna buy a church. My Lord. He robbed you. Amen. Throw him in jail. Press charges. Yeah. Don't let that thief get away. You take Ted, Ted, Ted Freeman and press charges for lying and stealing your money. That's right. Throw that hypocrite in jail. That's right. I tell you that if it was my blood brother. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. Throw him in jail. Amen. Amen. These religious crooks yeah. ain't got no conscience. No. You do this stuff in the name of Jesus? Greedy for money will blur out a conscience. Oh, yeah. That's why the Bible said the love of it is the root or the source 
of all evil while some covered after they have ever from the truth That's right. and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows but thou a man of God flee these things yeah. listen the prophets prophesied falsely and the people, people give their money I tell them we want to build a church here that's where it's going why you think so many churches are popping up and broadcasts are still spreading that's right Amen. met with an old man the other day he said you're the first, you're the first preacher I've met who take the money and use it for the Lord's work. He said, I'm shocked. <laughs> I said, what? He said, I'm shocked. I said, why? He came from the church of God in Christ. He said, where well, I came from, they didn't do that. No, he said, the church bought the preachers, limousines and everything. <laughs> so he can ride his way to hell. That's right. I don't care if you bought a preacher a pony and he had 32 legs, a pony limousine. And he had 32 legs. And on his hoofs, on his hoofs, he had rims with a P on it for pony. <laughs> Amen. He can gallop from here to Georgia if he like. That's right. All celebrities, all preachers, all religious leaders, everybody gonna stand before God. Everybody. Ain't nobody gonna get away from this message. That's the thing that give me deep consolation. Amen. That ain't a human born of a woman that's going to be born. Go get away from this message right here. That's right. What he said? The prophets prophesied falsely. The prophets prophesied falsely. Falsely. The falsely. Lord didn't speak to them. No. The Lord didn't tell them nothing. Right. They done it on their own desire, on their own feeling. And what else? And the priests bear rule by their means. God didn't make him a preacher. Amen. He just jumped up in a pulpit because he got the feeling. Mm -hmm. And how do the people feel? And my people love to have it so. Love it. We're living in a time now that people will follow anything. Yeah. Anything. Any piece of garbage that jump up in a pulpit. Right. And the first victims of the trash man in the pulpit is the family. Amen. Wife want to support it. Children want to support it. Friends, uncles, and cousins. Mm -hmm. They are the first dumb, blind victims. That's right. You better get this, viewers. Oh, yes. You're not saved unless you keep in memory what the word of God says. That's right. Let's go back to study to show yourself approved so I can knock off quickly now. Give back, chapter and verse. Back in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. What is it? Study to show thyself approved unto God. When you get this word in you, it, it makes it more difficult for a false prophet to trick you. That's right. You have to make it difficult. I don't care how good he sounds. I don't care if he prance around, walk on the pews like he in a, in a spirit. Don't get that excited. Some folk get excited, get their flapping their arms like they're about to fly away. Just bring your feathers down. Bring, them down. bring your feathers down. That's right. And you better hear what that fellow's saying. That's right. Listen. Study to show thyself approved unto God. Hey, what? A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. What are we doing? Rightly dividing the word of truth. What else? But shun profane and vain babbling. Shun. Amen. Shun. Profane and vain battles. Get away from gossipers. That's right. That's right. What kind? All of them. All of them. That's right. All of you ministers, your wife should not be a gossiper. No. You that are watching. No. I don't care how good you are as a preacher. If your wife is a gossiper, you got to tear your church up. That's right. Know how to rule your house. Get your wife out of everybody's business. Yeah. And any time a preacher going to get up and preach based upon the gossip from his wife, you ain't fit to preach to an ant colony. That's right. Here yeah, your wife got a problem with some sister or brothers in the church, and now that's your text. And then you lie and say, you know, church, the Lord was dealing with me last night. I was in deep thought. You liar. Your wife was in your deep ear. Amen. <laughs> Wasn't there no deep thought? Your old wife was in your deep ear. That's right. Complaining about Sister Grethel and Sister Ruth and Sister Mary and Sister Magdalene and Sister Martha. <laughs> and then you got up with some fake anointing from hell. Lied and said the Lord was dealing with you. Yeah. Your wife was dealing with you. Bishop, elder, pastor, apostle, prophet, evangelist, minister, hidden peck. That's right. Hear this now. But shun profane and vain. Shun. Feelings. Shun it. Shun. Avoid it. Get away from it. That's right. That's right. Amen. 
Do you hear this? But shun profane and vain babbles. Speak what you know, what you don't know, shut up about. Amen. Amen. Well, I heard nobody want that. No. Nobody want to care nothing about what you heard. You can hear a lie. And then you become a lie spreader. That's right. Are you listening? But shun profane and vain babbling. Shun. Amen. Don't use your Facebook. Don't use the church website for gossiping. Mm -hmm. When this message is on and you see people making comments to lure you in an argument or a debate, ignore them. That's right. Let them say whatever they want. That's right. Let them say whatever they want. Ignore them. Let them yell and holler. You get the word in you. Amen. Because the devil let men and women get on just to distract you. And you get to argue and fight with them and you don't miss the message. That's right. You don't miss the message. And you'll find them same agitators on every single time we webcast. Yeah. They got so much to say, and we so much of a false prophet, but yet they there all the time. That's right. They letting you know what their purpose is, yeah. just to agitate you. That's right. Don't go asking questions on the website to anybody posing as Pastor Jennings. That's right. Pastor Jennings don't respond on a website in the chat room. No. I respond like this now. That's right. That's how I respond. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right. 